look at you sitting across from me after all these years. Everybody! What do you think? Yeah. Congratulations, Dick. I said, I'm not leaving until I get one of these. Well, that's exactly right. I don't care if I'm right. 100. That's exactly right, and it, you should have it. You should have had it years ago. It's not real to me yet. Yeah, I, I haven't know. really, I can't quite grasp what happened to me. I know, I know. I mean, it's, a, it's an odd feeling because um, your entire life has been given to um, people, making people mm. happy, doing what you do, and there is only one. Dick Van Dyke. I don't care how many people attempt to, you know, imitate, they can't make it. You know, they may be able to sing, they may be able to dance, but they are not Dick Van Dyke. And so, um, but I know what little I know about you, and it's been many, many years oh, since yeah. Bye Bye Birdie. I know that you are the most humble. You don't understand anything like this because you were just born to do what you do. Oh, yeah, I've been clowning since I was a little kid, yeah. I, you know, I never thought I'd get into entertainment, but I mean, I would have starved to death if I'd been in an office or a salesman or something. I wouldn't be able to do it, but I was allowed to play my whole life. All I've done is play. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Well, she was, you know, had a career of, you know, she's the best thing that ever happened to the great white way. And I'm on there with this legend, and I don't know anything. I've never been on the stage. <laughs> I know, we used to watch you, and uh, it all um, just happened. You just sucked it all up and gave it all out. And, um, and we just laughed and, <laughs> and did what we had to do, but you also made us cry. Oh yeah, you, yeah. You can you can do it all. And, and when we did Birdie, uh, how many years ago? God, fifties. Yeah, I think it's about fifty. Oh my God, years we ago. certainly made Gar Champion cry. <laughs> well, we did, we did, but we had a great company too. We got sent home. We got clowning around and laughing at rehearsal. He finally said, "Just go home." He couldn't stand. We were. He didn't understand us. Well, he didn't understand, and neither did we, uh, when Mike Stewart made me say to you, and you were standing on the step, looking down at me, and I, was, <laughs> and I said, you go your way. I was angry with you as, as Rose. <laughs> you go your way, I'll go my way, east and west on the Lincoln Highway. <laughs> and you looked at me like, what the <laughs> heck did you just say to me? And I looked at you as if, I have no idea what that meant. And we started to laugh. He said, go home. I, I, that's right. <laughs> there was a, also a dance number, 100 Ways to Kill a Man. That's right. What a brilliant piece of work. At the end, uh, they right. hook a thing to me, hand me a lily, and I go up on wires and wait till the number's over. One night, there were two wires, one broke, ping. <laughs> and I started to turn, I said, Either I'm going to die or I'm going to kill a dancer. <laughs> I, I forgot that. Yeah, Absolutely. Oh, God, I was scared. But it, the one wire held, so I got down the <laughs> Oh, my gosh. Well, have you, how did it feel leaving us, as you did? You just left us in the dust because Carl, Carl Reiner called you and Thank said, God I that. have written this series for you. I hope it went well. Um, and uh, how did it feel just leaving, going out to California and being with those wonderful people that you did that series with? Well, the, the worst thing about it was on the Broadway, you're up late. That's you right. You start That's doing true. film, you're up at 5 yeah. o'clock. Yeah. I couldn't get turned around. I couldn't do it. Yeah, yeah. But it was, I, I had had a script of my own about a kind of a Jacques Tati character traveling around Europe on a motor scooter. I thought it was a good idea. Sounds great. Carl Reiner sent me eight scripts. I read them and just threw my out the window. What writing, oh my well, God. Well, what a wonderful guy. Yeah. And what a fabulous talent. But, yeah. you know, I, I never said this to anybody, but I, when that happened to you, I kind of went, sorry, my mouth went down, I went, 
Or he didn't really think I was good enough to write me into the series. He should have. Yeah, oh, but no, so, no, no. He didn't. we worked together so well. Oh, gosh. And, was, and you and, I'll say her name, Mary Tyler Moore. I adored her. She yeah. was wonderful. You know, Mary had never done comedy in her life. Well, she sure And the learned, first couple yeah. of shows she was having, but she had... Rosemary, Maury, me. Oh, yeah. Surrounded by, and in a couple of shows, she kind of got it, and, and everything fell into place. Yeah. Yeah, she was worried that she wasn't going to cut it. <laughs> well, I guess you do that with anything that is new, brand new to you. Yeah. You know, you have to learn I what it is. I was thinking of the night, the closing of Bye Bye Birdie was just, we embrace and then go into a dance, just the two of us. That's the finale. And one night we embraced, and the, our belt buckles somehow <laughs> got hooked together. We couldn't get apart. We could not get apart. <laughs> Was that the night we fell down? Because we did fall yes, down. Yes, we did one. fall down. We fell down. Yes, we did. And we laughed. But it got up and then did a big finish. There you are. You have to make absolutely everything work. Yeah. No matter what it is. There are no mistakes, really. Oh, yeah. Because you really learn from the things that are not supposed to be. Oh, yeah. And you make them be. Well, you were good at it. I mean, you, whatever oh, happened, no. you just went with it. And there are a lot of people who would just, you know, go to pieces. Well, what about you and my dear friends, Mark and Dee Dee Burrow? Yes. What about that? I mean, they just loved working with you. And you yeah. never considered yourself a dancer. No. And you are a dancer. Well, I have the. I, I never learned to dance, but I can get, jump around. But well, that was the funny thing when I auditioned for Gower, yeah, for, for Birdie. Yeah. I sang a little Ray Bolger song and did a little soft shoe, and he just said, came up and said, "You've got it." I said, "Well, that only happens in the movies." I said, "I can't dance." He said, "We'll show you," and he did. Do you ever think you'll come back to Broadway or what? Uh, what is uh, it you no, want I'm to 95, do? I think maybe <laughs> I can sit and tell stories, maybe. I see you walking and moving, and yeah. what about that little girl last night, Debbie Allen's um, yes. uh, granddaughter, I believe, and she's this big, <laughs> and she was crying because of something, and her mother couldn't get her to do anything, and you walked up to her, and you said something to her because you were behind me, yeah. and Lisa, my daughter, said, Mom, look, and this child, was dancing. She started to dance, right? I know. Not only smiling and laughing, yeah. she was dancing for you. Isn't that funny? I, I don't know what did that to her. Well, you did it. <laughs> <laughs> it's as simple as a, that. A little girl walked up to me in the market and said, Dip and Dyke. <laughs> and that's been my name ever since, Dip and Dyke. <laughs> What's your favorite? role, if you have one. People ask me that all the time. Yeah. And I can't say my favorite because each one yeah. has something to, to give I, me. I think I had the most fun on the Van Dyke show. It was pretty loose and we just all had to look forward to coming to work every day. Uh, Poppins cool. was great because we all knew there was something good there. You know, sometimes you don't know. Yeah. Everybody couldn't get, wait to get to work. Yeah. We just knew with those songs and and the m animation and everything. It just yeah. We were excited from the beginning, yeah. except for the lady who wrote the book. She came to the premiere and stopped Walt Disney in the lobby and said, "The animation has to go." <gasps> <laughs> Can you believe? It? He said, "Betty, the boat has sailed." <laughs> <laughs> and you were not on it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And Walt was on the set every day. And then, of course, Dee Dee and Mark, I, had, I recommended them. Because Walt said, you, anybody you like? I said, yeah. Then they went to England with me. And we yeah. did yeah. Chitty Bang Bang. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly right. Because Dee Dee was my maid of honor. Yeah. She was my very best friend when I was in the... Uh, uh, American School of Ballet. Uh, and they should have been in the movies. They were the best looking couple. Oh, Dee Dee. Both. Well, we were also in Can Can together. And <laughs> Dee Dee was so beautiful. She was, whenever we auditioned, I found myself next to Dee Dee. Yeah. She's the tall, blonde beauty of it. Yeah. I was the short, dark, funny looking. <laughs> and, uh, and I found myself standing next to her all the time. 
but she was my best buddy. And when she told me how much fun the two of them and how much they loved you, I yeah. it just it it. Oh, we had such a good time. Oh yeah, they're great people. That whole cast, what well, and of course I've taken it on the chin all these years about my Cockney accent, and I find at the BAFTA Awards, I said it wasn't a Cockney. It was a guy from the very north, a shire in the north of England, who was settled by people from Ohio. <laughs> that was my Did you dream. make it up? Did you make that up? <laughs> yeah. Well, I tried. Been, well, well, it's best to have an answer <laughs> yeah. rather than, oh, OK. And when the movie was over, uh, the, guy, the producer came to me and said, look, and Sean is leaving the Bond series. You want to be Bond? And I said, have you heard my English accent click? That was the end of the conversation. Really? I though? blew it, yeah. I could have been Bond. But with that voice you've got, why couldn't you fake it? I, well, maybe. I, if I had worked oh, on it, God. maybe. Well, but you, I could, just, you couldn't, I you said couldn't the wrong resist thing. being silly <laughs> I know. at Bond. And we don't want Bond silly. <laughs> no, you don't want a silly Bond. <laughs> Oh, gosh. What, what is your favorite show that you ever did? Uh, like I said before, it's very difficult to decide West Side, Bye Bye Birdie, Kiss of the Spider Woman, A Dancer's Life. Uh, yeah. All, yeah. All of those shows. I, I came along at a great time. I was absolutely blessed. Um, I was ready. I tell the kids, no. whatever it is, whatever it, and whenever it is, just be ready. ready. That's all. Right. And don't be afraid of it. Just go. And um, and so each one of them, you know, Seventh Heaven, Mr. Wonderful with Sammy Davis Jr. Oh, yeah. I mean, right. and I stood in the wings all the time and watched them and yeah. learned. That's how I, I mean, I learned so much from you. From, from me? That, <laughs> In the back with your finger going like this, going, <laughs> dancing along in your own world. I, I, and Michael Pollard trying to upstage me. <laughs> Moving up the but couldn't. But he learned a lot from you, Michael. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, my gosh, yes. Oh, my God. Michael J. Pollard learned a, an awful lot from you. Then once in a while, I get somebody, uh, Jim Carrey, said, if there hadn't been you, there wouldn't be me. Because, <laughs> you know, he's very physical. Comedian. Oh, yes, he is. He's a good guy. He is, yeah. he is. Well, you know, we were really were a blast from the past last night because I think we go back farther than any of the other ones did. I'm bye sure. Bye Birdie was what, 1961? Yes. Good God. Doesn't seem possible. I don't know about time. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a fascinating thing. Um, yeah. I don't know what it is. Uh, it's just that I feel as though I'm going to be here forever, and I'm, and you do too. Yeah, and entertainers don't retire, they just stop working for money, but they just keep, I do benefits now. I couldn't stop entertaining for anything. I couldn't either. I gotta get on a stage, and it's been, what, a year on with this COVID, no performing. But you, your voice is just so, resonant and so strong and and you love harmonies there are your group that you love so much oh, yeah. the uh the fantastic we call them yeah van fantastic so yeah we do we do you know traditional barbershop which only barbershoppers like and then we do some modern things too uh, do you don't know take six yes the, oh, absolutely they fantastic. asked me to sing a song with them on an album i'm gonna do it you have to yeah that's a seventh part i don't know how they're gonna write it Aren't they incredible? Well, absolutely, but uh, but you've got that ear, you know? You've got that musical ear. That's About a half a tone one. flat. No, it's never flat. I really? don't hear it flat. I tell you, recording with uh, Julie Andrews, because she was like dead on, it was so hard, because every take I yeah. would sound flat. You know, I'd have, I had to get it up here in my nose. Yeah, you know? well, you two are t you're t totally Different, yeah, just different, not opposites, but different. Yeah, very. You know? yeah. She's on the nose, and you are warm and sexy <laughs> and sultry and so free. We ought to do something, you know. Why couldn't we go well, on we tour? We can, you know. 
Uh, we can. You just we can tell do, me. We can do I'll songs and stories just like this. Well, totally. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> That's a deal. Show them what, what Broadway was really like. <laughs> well, I, I wanted to ask you, um, there's a rumor that you still dance and sing every day. Well, now, I, I know that's true. Yeah, my, I married a young lady who sings great and actually is a belly dancer, and a good one. You, a lot of belly dancers know the moves, but they haven't got the, the spirit yeah, and the heart. she's in. got the She spirit. does it, boy, you watch it. <laughs> yeah. And all of a sudden, we started singing together, and she was a little flat in the beginning, now I've got her right on. So we harmonize all day, doing the dishes, whatever we're doing. And it's so much fun. We well, sing for each other, at least. Well, the two of you just seem so perfect together. Uh, uh, <laughs> I, she's got a, an amazing sense of humor, which she really has to have. <laughs> yes. She really has to have. But And she's such a beauty. Oh, she's gorgeous. I was in the green room as some... The, I don't know what it was, but I saw her walk by, and I was talking to an actress, and she walked by and I said, excuse me, I never approached a strange woman in my life, but I just walked right up and said, hi, I'm Dick, and sat down, and uh, it started, and she said, were you and Mary Poppins or something like that? I love she it. She wasn't too impressed. Love with it. <laughs> but I'm beginning to think that things are not as random as we like to think. Because things like that just happen, you know. I mean, half, most of the luck I've had in the business has been just a lucky break. But, you know, that's what I tell the kids, too. Even though you, you, you know it's there, you acknowledge it, you don't, you, every moment is important. Yes. Because every moment makes the big moment. Yeah. The big thing, you know, that we call an event or something like that. <laughs> yeah. But it's all those little tiny things that we have to pay attention to. And had you not, I mean, just imagining you walking up to a, a strange female <laughs> makes me laugh because I, <laughs> I don't know you as I that know, I at all. Have. I mean. Oh, I, I don't know how I did it. <laughs> Well, you did it. Yeah. You have to thank your legs or something for that. <laughs> yeah, something, something moved me over there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I directed a, a, a production of Mary Poppins with grade school kids, and they're really cute. But they're used to television. They say their line, and then they're waving at the moms. And <laughs> I said, no, your people can still see. <laughs> I couldn't stop them from... I couldn't, they wouldn't realize that they're always on stage. They thought the camera was on them and then the camera was off. Well, I think that's when you need that rehearsal time. Yeah. That horrible, that people th say it's horrible. I think rehearsals are fabulous. I mean, you, 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 you the, the things that seem odd are perfect yeah. for that particular scene. And yeah. they weren't even written in the scene. But you accidentally did it yeah. in rehearsal, and let's keep it. Yeah, you know, and you have to live in that world, and the kids have to. Also, the chorus line I think is a very important thing. A chorus, yeah, for dancers because dancers have to be aware of everything. You have to be exactly like the guy on either side of you. Yeah. You, you have to breathe each other. Did you start out in the chorus? Oh, totally. I am a firm believer in the ballet school, studying hard, really, really hard, and the chorus line. I think the chorus line is the savior. Really? Oh, totally, totally. And then you can move out from, and you find yourself within that chorus line. Yeah. It's... Uh, to be able to, you know, uh, uh, Bob Fosse and Freddie uh, Ebb and John Cantor in Chicago, two dancing as one. It was a number called two dancing as one. And um, it was Gwen Verdon and myself, the great Gwen wow. Verdon. The and, two of you were. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, I learned from watching her uh, in movies and everything how she makes something so seductive. And she didn't. 
it's not at all vulgar. It's just her. It's yeah. her spirit. That's what you do. <laughs> and, uh, and two dancing as one was the two of us identical. Just our fingers exactly the same. On the hat, exact turning at the right oh, time. God, yeah. Just at the right you know, distance. What, and what that show, comes what show from was that? Dancing, that was Chicago. That yes. Was, yeah, two dancing as one. Oh, that. It two was. Dancing, and it. You have it. it. You see, it <laughs> is, you gotta have it. The <laughs> girl know. without it just might as well quit. You gotta have. Yeah. yeah, and it you can't you you can't define it because yeah. it is your spirit. It's you. Yeah. Nobody has has this it, but you. And Freddie and John wrote that into the. Squad. I discovered that if I'm enjoying myself, the audience likes it. If I'm not enjoying myself, I stink. Of course I can't you do. make it good if I don't think it's good. Oh, of if course. I don't think it's funny. I can't make it funny. That's so hard. But that's nice because, fortunately, your personality, unless you go back to the room and you're like, <laughs> ah, 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 and you're an ogre, you know, um, yeah. you fooled an awful lot of people. You know, for a while they did plays in, in Central Park in the summer. Yes. And they called and asked me to do uh, Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? And my agent said, he can't do that. And turns it down. Well, that's ridiculous. Now, agents shouldn't do that. No, they should not. They, they should can't have speak confidence. for you. Like it would have been funny, but it would have been. I well, no. Them. You would have been as <clears throat> serious with that as you are with any joke that you make. <laughs> you Absolutely. Sure. I would love to try it sometime. The only thing left for me is King Lear, I think, from my age. Yeah. King Lear, I believe that's it. Tomorrow, whatever. I could do it. I'd be willing to try anything. Now. I love it. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I can remember when, uh, what if people really find out that I can't do anything? You know, this is all fake. You ever had that? Yeah. Because some, some actors say of course. they've had the same feeling. What if they, well, the, the favorite expression is what if they find me out? <laughs> yes. That's the expression. Yeah. What if they find after all these years, after all these shows, that I'm a Phony baloney, <laughs> and that I can't do any of that. And that's right. I, you, but that's what you. Each time is a new time. Oh yeah. It's a brand new day. It's a brand new. That's why you lasted as brilliantly as you have, <laughs> because every day is fresh. Oh yeah. It's see. fresh. Yeah. Thank God. <laughs> yeah. Thank God is right. Okay. Let's let's plan to do something. We could do an hour and a half. It's like falling off a log. Totally. We've got memories. We've got, oh totally. my God, what, what a What about idea. when you came to Dancer's Life and you just turned that corner on stage left, I'll never forget it, and you surprised the audience and the audience went bananas. <laughs> and I'll never forget how handsome you looked in your black tuxedo. And then we went on to, to do some of the things from Rosie and yeah. reminisce about Bye Bye Birdie. You know, Bertie has lasted all of these years because of Charles Struss and the Adams and Michael Stewart. Right. God, I, it's a perfect and, teenage and, movie. And, <coughs> Every high school Absolutely. Does it. And when I read it, I said, oh, it'll never work. I mean, Tom Poston auditioned the day before I went in. And he, and he um, and I love Tom. I mean, he's yes. wonderful. He's got a, he had his own individual look and personality and and he came back and he said oh it was just awful it was just terrible and I said well I guess maybe I'll just go and I'll tell my agent that we'll listen to the music and and then I'll say oh that's fabulous and then we'll and you'll say I'll call you tomorrow after we've talked and then Phony baloney. Phony baloney. <laughs> I go and, and I'm sitting there and they start to play this music because I was convinced that no parent was going to accept all these kids on telephones. Oh, yeah. Because at th that time, kids were not, maybe they were just starting to call each other and say, hey, Nancy, yeah. or whatever. And so I, I'm sitting there and they play it and they finish the first act, and I go, I have to do this. 
I have to do this show. I love this music. Yeah. <laughs> I love what I'm hearing. I love the lyrics. I, and Dick Saff, my agent, went, oh, well, hold it. <laughs> and I said, I'm sorry, I have to follow my heart. And uh -huh. boy, am I glad I did. The Shriners thing oh. was a classic. A well, classic. without the girl, without Rose, without the part that I played, it was a magnificent piece of choreography. Agnes Mill, Jerome Robbins would have all loved mm. it. Yeah, and when Agnes told me she loved it. But I, Gower took me by the hand, brought me down stage, and said, just look at this. And I, there was the table, and all the guys with their Shriners yeah. hats, and the girl was not even there. And he said, you come in, ba, 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 ba. And you come in, and then you do a developé. And, and I'm imagining myself yeah. going along. And, but all I see is what he's choreographed for the boys. Yeah. It was brilliant. The absolute um, um, epitome of choreography that is oh, a, a number I, that is really To do something brilliant. like that is also hysterically funny oh, at the same time. Because you're allowed to use your imagination. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Silence is golden. <laughs> Silence is golden. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah. It was sort of like a snake and that. It was wonderful. It was wonderful and I I have to thank you for our friendship all these years, you know, our it's just funny, we we hit it off immediately. Immediately. Yeah. I was I was very nervous because I at the beginning because I hadn't met you and and your wife at the time was coming in to watch the reading. Yeah. And I think we had a kiss. And I had never kissed anybody on, yeah. on scene. Yeah. And I can't remember where that kiss was. Well, well, whatever it was, I thought it was a kiss. Whatever it was, I was nervous. But when I got into the reading, you made me so comfortable. Oh, good. That it was, you know, the difficult thing about Bertie, for a lot of people, um, is what you automatically have. And obviously, thank God, I had at the time, um, the, the, the genuine, clean sense of humor. It was, we were, that's why people can't do it now, because they, <laughs> They put another thing in there that doesn't have to be in there. Yeah. It's just, you know, it's a clean musical. It's kids being kids. It's adults being angry, being in <laughs> love, with, with telling her boyfriend he's got to get this job, you know, as yeah. an English teacher, and he wants to be with Elvis. And it, it's all so clean. Yeah. <clears throat> and people want to make it something else. Even the Shriners Ballet, it was not, a, it ended. It, if you wanted it to be sensual, yeah. it could be sensual, but it was innocent. Yeah, The, the that's innocence right. of Bertie was absolutely wonderful, and that's what you have. I can remember <clears throat> times with you when I think, I'm going to laugh. How am I going to not laugh? Oh, yeah. Because oh, yeah. I could just feel like I'm going. And if I went, she went. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, that was it. I was going to go anywhere you went. <laughs> <laughs> this has been a wonderful weekend. And, um, well, week, actually. And I'm so grateful that I could be here. Oh, that's so To look right. into your face and, and, um, and see you, more imp most important, get this award, this honor. This honor. It's not an award. I, it's an you honor. know, you have cr had credentials. You know, I, I don't have any real credentials. Of course you do. You know, I've done TV, but just, you know, bounced around. And so, wow, on what basis did I get this award? On so, you, on <laughs> Dick <laughs> Van Dyke, people. <laughs> what I said last night first, it was West Side for me, and then there was Dick Van Dyke. <laughs> Period. You can't, you can't beat that. You oh. cannot beat that. We got to go kill him again. So Please. yeah, I think Let's so. Do it. I think that's what we'll do. Yeah, we'll kill him again. I was never crazy for flowers. flowers. <laughs> I confess that nothing left me colder. 
I could watch a daisy for hours. Hey, and oh. all I'd see there well, was several, several hours older. older. Lilacs and, oh my God. Lilacs and lilies. Any bloom you choose. Is that right? Yes. All that they did was make me shrug Smile or oh, snooze. Smile or snooze. That's and right. Dance. But now I love each blossom that I see. For, For a, a lovely, lovely little rose loves love. me. And that's me, his favorite <laughs> leading lady. Yes. <laughs> okay, you can end with that. <laughs>